Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb, and in this lesson I'd like to show you how to play Hard Time Killin' Floor Blues by Skip James. Skip James, uh, born in 1902 in Mississippi, had a very interesting technique, um, uh, finger style technique that was, that was both hypnotic and melodic, and um, there's a lot to be learned from Skip's playing. This song was recorded in 1931. Um, and this collection of songs that he recorded didn't sell that great and his music was kind of lost until 30 years later, the early 60s with the folk revival and the blues revival, uh, he was kind of rediscovered. And then in more recent years, uh, this tune was re-recorded by Chris Thomas King for the Oh Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the, the finger picking style of Skip, the open tuning that he used, open D minor tuning, and we're going to talk a little bit about his performance, as well as Chris Thomas King's performance uh, that took a little bit more liberties in some of the open strings and such. So first of all, open D minor tuning. D, A, D, F, F natural, that's your minor third, minor quality. A, and D. Okay, let's go after it. Hard time killing floor blues. Here's the intro to three, four. So off the bat, we can hear, and you can even hear this on the recording, the, the, the thumb movement is, is pretty aggressive. He really kind of lays into these, to these bass notes, and it gives it this really ominous and very emotional character. So starting here on the third fret, open, two, open, same thing on the A string. Open D again, and then we're grabbing third fret here with the low D. Open high D. So with the high D, you're grabbing the open D as well, the, the fourth string as well as the first string. And then we have a walk up to basically the verse, uh, the verse progression. Walk up. This F right here is the downbeat of the verse. Then we're grabbing this E and landing here. And then we're grabbing the open D with second fret on the third string here. One more time, two, three, four. And then the second part of the verse. Okay, so this part, on the first couple of verses, this is, this is kind of a long song. There's, I believe, seven verses that are all the same uh, form, but uh, it sounds like on the first couple of verses, he's actually hammering this on. Okay. And then on some of the verses, he's, he's hitting one of the first two open strings along with this note, or both of them. Okay, and then we're then we're around for the for the turnaround here. Okay, going from two to one there, and then we've got this great kind of the main hook of the tune. Okay, sliding up four to two, open D, and then thumb on this third fret, so it'd be an F. Okay, and then landing on the open A there on the second figure. First figure and second figure. So that's kind of the main hook. It happens at the end of every verse. At the end of the first verse, it only happens once, whereas every other verse, it happens four times. So the first verse is gonna be. And then we have our, our uh, part of the intro figure again. 
open B string, or in this case, A string. So that's second half of the intro. With just a walk up to. Okay, so we got walk up, hit the low D with that, open fourth string D with the open high D, and then low D again, and then right into the second verse. And this time we're gonna do the hook at the end of the verse four times. That main figure uh, on the, the original recording, the Skip James recording, he's pretty kind of like hypnotic with, the, with, these, with these runs. Sometimes they're nice and smooth and sometimes they're like, kind of like quicker and a little more chaotic. Whereas the Chris Thomas King version, it's all very, it's, it's all kind of right in the pocket, you know, and it's very smooth. Chris Thomas King's version is, um, I think it's a wonderful example of, of taking all the right kinds of liberties with an old blues song. Taking liberties with open strings and kind of making it your own, making it, for lack of a better term, a little modernized, but still have a, you know, a, a throwback dynamic and quality to it. For example, on the intro, he plays the open second string along with, or, along with the bass movement. So whereas the original is, Okay, Chris Thomas King's version is. Okay, very cool, very, it's, it gives immediately more mystery to it. Skip James' version, it goes through another five verses, and then there's like this little solo break, which is totally genius. Okay, so he's basically got, got all this bass movement going on. Let's play just the bass notes. Okay, so on top of that bass movement, we've got just the two open strings happening uh, kind of intermittently between some of these bass notes. Right there. There. Two, three, four. Same walk up. Right after that open D, we're hitting low D, high D, and the open A. Second half. Right there. Open A with this F, and then to the hook. One more time on the solo break. One, two, three. Does one more verse and then the outro. So four times through the hook and then he does this little lick. So this is kind of standard blues stuff that, that a lot of us have probably learned before, this kind of run up to the major third. Okay. Open D. Picking everything, okay? This is something that I realize immediately is I have the inclination to kind of to kind of hammer hammer these types of figures on, right? You know, like that kind of thing and make it sound, you know, smooth and and, and I had to avoid those inclinations here. Pick everything and make it kind of every note means the same thing in an aggressive kind of cutting way. The 
the very end there we've got both Ds high and low, followed by the middle. So let's do those last four, uh, the four hooks into the outro. Hi right, friends, that's Hard Time Killing Floor Blues by Skip James. Hope you learned a little bit about the finger picking technique of Skip James, the open D minor tuning, and some ideas regarding paying homage to old blues artists by inflecting yourself in some of those ideas. We've got some other finger picking technique lessons on the site, check them out. And if you'd like to learn any specific finger picking styles, throw it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.